Hi, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I picked a sunflower yesterday at my house. Um, I actually, this is one sunflower that I was able to um, cover with a pillowcase to keep the squirrels off it because they just kept eating everything. And um, I went to my house yesterday and we had such high winds yesterday um, at the garden that the pillowcase blew off and I don't know how long the pillowcase had been blown off and the squirrels got to the sunflower. But I am so grateful that I caught it in just enough time that I'm able to still save some of these seeds on this sunflower. And I didn't realize how many people have never seen a sunflower close up. And I remember how I felt the first time I saw a sunflower seed come out of a sunflower. It was fascinating to me. So I wanted to share that with you today. So I'm going to show you this sunflower that's sitting here in my trunk and I'm going to um, take it inside to let it dry out a little bit so that I can save the seeds so I can plant these beautiful mammoth sunflowers next year. So here's the sunflower. There it is. So this is the sunflower. This is how big it is. And I had probably three of them in my garden this year that were almost twice the size of this one. So this is two handfuls across. And if you can see, these look like little honeycombs, but these are where the sunflowers have been picked out. These black things are, in fact, the sunflower seed, the things that you get at the grocery store, David's brand sunflowers. But when you wiggle these and pull it out, that's the sunflower seed right there. And that's what I want to plant in the ground for next year. But these are still very, very raw. Um, let me see if I can get in this with one hand. See, that's the seed. Let me pull it out. Oh, well, I tried to pull it out with my tooth, but I didn't open the seed far enough. But here's even some more over here. Uh, uh, get this thing out of here. Let me see if I can do this. Let's squat down here and see what I can do. Open this up. See, that's the seed. Ah. I'm trying, I hope it's staying in focus. Those are some big sunflower seeds right there. I can't even believe that the squirrel got to it, but I'm so grateful I went over there yesterday and was able to save it. So these are the flowers of the sunflower. And as you see, all you have to do is brush them like this and these guys just fall right off. So that's what you wanna do once your sunflower gets to the point of picking. Now this sunflower was not ready to pick off the stem yet, the stalk. If you can see, that's the stalk. You want the back side of this sunflower to hunch over. You want it to kind of hang over like this. And this part, I call it the bowl of the sunflower, like all of this should be turning brown. And that's when you're able to just cut the stem of your sunflower right off. And then you just hang it in the garage or the basement like this for a couple weeks until it really dries out. And all this foliage here on the edges gets crunchy and brown. And I wasn't able to let that happen with the sunflower because the squirrels were attacking it. So that's why I went ahead and picked it anyway. These seeds are still mature enough that I can plant them in the ground and share them with other people that want to... Um, grow sunflowers but all I'm gonna do is just kind of rub all these little buds off we don't need those 
they'll fall over all over the ground but these are the things that the big bumblebees love to lay in and get their pollen out of and just rub all this out I'm gonna hang this in my shed for a couple weeks until these get nice and crunchy and brown and then I will pull all of these seeds out of here and then I will package them up so I can share them with people and I can plant them next year in my garden I just had to share that with you because I remember the first time I saw a sunflower that close up and I was just like oh my gosh that's how they grow like it just was fascinating to me so I hope that I shared something with you today that you've never seen before and that um, it'll make you inspired to want to plant some sunflowers now I don't know if you can go to the store and get a David's sunflower package and eat the sunflowers and then stick one on the ground and have one grow because I think once you bake them it kind of doesn't do what it's supposed to do but um, sunflower packets are at the dollar store buy a couple sunflower seeds and throw them in the ground the squirrels will eat them then you just be friends with your squirrels so I just wanted to share that with you today I hope you have a fantastic day today is October 16th it's about 55 degrees partly sunny and um, I'm gonna go dig up some uh, pepper plants at my garden at the church today and at my house I'm gonna try to overwinter some peppers this year so that when the spring comes I can put the peppers in the ground and they will already be mature plants and give me fruit quicker because I love peppers that's my day today so I hope you guys have an incredible rest of your weekend and thank you for letting me share this sunflower with you. I wish it could have been a full one, but I'll get some next year. I, I will be prepared with more pillowcases. I will be shopping Goodwill all year looking for pillowcases. So you have an incredible rest of your week. Um, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button below so you get notifications when I post a new video of some garden jargon stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and God bless.